I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. One finger, kind of up top, put a dot. And from that dot we're going to go slightly curved line up, slightly curved line over. Curve line up again, curve line down, 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 keep going, curve line up, and leave it floating. Come back over here to our dot. We're going to br bring this slightly curved line in, down, in, leave it floating. Come right about here and we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, curve line up, and leave it floating. Right about here, we're just going to draw a little curve line down. Come all the way back over to this space and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a big curve line down, curve line, curve line out, back, curve line in, up, connect. Come back over here and now come inside and we're going to put a dot. And we're going to draw a little curve line, little curve line down, curve line over, little curve line up, up, leave it floating. We're going to extend this line now, connect, because right next to that we're going to draw another little curve line, curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, up, connect. Now we can continue this line. Jump over, draw a curve line down, and connect. Because now, right about here, we're going to draw another curve line down, curve line down, curve line out, curve line in, and leave that floating. Alright, come up to the top and we're just going to add a squiggle line, wavy line here, Wavy line down here, curve line, curve line. Come to the ends and we're going to go zig, zag, zig, zag. Zig, zag, zig, zag. Come down here, zig, zag, zig, zag. Once more, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect. Come all the way up here, we're going to draw a curve line, come underneath, curve line up, connect. I'm going to color this in right now with my black so I can see what I'm doing. Now come over here and zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag on top, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag on the bottom. I think that's all might want to extend this line a little bit and I think we're ready now to color. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a loop-de-loop -loop, light to dark color of yellow orange. Now, we don't know what color any of the dinosaurs were really. So use your imagination on your color. Most people would do him green, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. Let's do him yellow orange for the first coat all the way down up and over then on top I'm going to put wherever I have a black line I'm going to put a little loop-de-loop -loop line of brown so I'm going to come up do these wavy lines, these curved lines. I'm going to give them all a little bit hit of brown. Come down and do this space. Come up and do this space. Just to give him a little texture. Then, very lightly, 
Don't go crazy. We've talked about using black. Lightly, I'm going to add a little bit of black over the other colors. Pretty much where the, the brown is. Not too much. If you add too much, you kill your picture. Now, since I have my black out, I'm going to come in and do all these toenails black. Okay? Now, my emphasis is on T-Rex. So, in the background, I'm just going to take my green. I'm just going to add some straight lines. You might want to add an environment. You could put them in a forest. You could put them in a jungle. Running through the jungle. Chasing somebody else. You're the artist. You can create it. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my T-Rex all colored in, ready to eat somebody. Okay, bye-bye.